Hello, my marvellous sausages. And if you didn't know, there's a truly outstanding exotic that everybody can claim, new and veteran players, tied to the Guardian Games. It's called the Air Apparent, and it's totally outstanding for two reasons. Firstly, of course, it's a damage-spewing minigun that you spin up and then rake everything that moves the solar bullets, which is great. And secondly, and this is really where it becomes a must-have, particularly for new players, if you spin it up, while you've got full health, it creates a really powerful arc shield around you that turns you, well, into a tank, basically. And when the shield is up, it does reduce you to just walking, but if you are new to Destiny 2 and you're having trouble hanging in firefights, this will turn the tables for you. It totally shreds, quite frankly. I'm far too old to be using the word shreds, but that's what it does. Then, of course, it has a catalyst, which increases the durability of the shield. And when the shield does get destroyed, it partially reloads the gun for you too, which is a nice little bonus to give you that little bit of an edge to get you out of tight spots. Now, the quest is called Top of the Class, and it drops when you finish the opening Guardian Games quest. That's very easy to complete. You do a couple of quick things for Eva. You go and see Zavala, then you go and see Shax, and then you come back and the quest will drop. The first thing you need to do is earn a medallion. It can be any medallion whatsoever, so you can just run one of the strike playlists. Just make sure you've got your class item on so you can actually earn the medallion. You can just complete one of these and you'll probably get a bronze one straight off. That's all you need. And the next step is killing a hundred gits with your machine gun. So you can either go to the moon and go to the altars of sorrow, but the worst problem in this is ammo, the heavy ammo. So really where you want to be going is Dares of Eternity because you've got the raid banners that get plonked on the floor that give you full heavy ammo. And if you make the jump through the little hole, you'll get unlimited heavy ammo for the next phase in the middle room. So this really is the quickest way for you to complete these kills. So just run normal Dares of Eternity, and once you've done those 100 kills, that's it, the weapon drops. It's that simple, so easy to get, and so amazingly useful. However, there is one more step if you want the catalyst. Now, this, this is well worth getting because it does two things. First of all, it increases the durability of your shield when it's up, which is excellent. Plus, it also has something where your shield, when it gets destroyed or it drops, then you get a reload of ammunition in the gun. So it's a brilliant thing to get, and this is how you get it. You stick in medallions into the older Guardian Games fruit machine in the tower courtyard, and then you should have it drop. Now, it's random, so it doesn't mean on your next time you put in a medallion, it will definitely drop. But I think I put in three or four medallions, and then it dropped for me. Simple pimple. I've said simple pimple twice now. Uh, easy peasy, then. Now, the first step is getting 50 points from cashing in medallions. And the higher the value of the medallion, the more points that you'll get. So, obviously, platinum medallions will give you more than gold, then silver, then bronze just do this however way you want to really if you're looking to do platinum i've got a great farm on the breakneck mission here but you need to have lightfall for that and also have completed the campaign i'll stick a little link up the top there to show you this particular platinum farm it's great but whichever way you want to do it that'll get you 50 points just by getting various medals medallions i mean okay so after you've gotten those points the next thing you need to do is complete three contender cards so these are the white cards on the top row here so just do whatever you want really i think i just ran three vanguards and got that done pretty quickly for me and then the final step before the catalyst becomes active is you need to collect competitive spirit with machine guns so it's basically a hundred kills that you need to get with your machine guns so all i did was pile back into dares of eternity and i had that done incredibly quickly and then ta-da the catalyst is yours but hold on of course it isn't there's one more step for every single catalyst in destiny 2 you have to finally get kills on the catalyst for it to activate and you can see here you've got to get up to 100 percent well it's 700 kills you need to get for the air apparent so you can either try and concentrate it and run days of eternity a good few times or there's the shuro chi checkpoint which allows you to farm kills and you can stick down raid banners to get the heavy ammo i'll stick a link to that video here up in the top corner if you want to have a little look at how to use the Shuruji checkpoint. It's very useful, but in perfect honesty, all you need to do is just use it constantly for a bit, and you'll have.
have that 700 kills done in no time at all. And that's it! This is the only reason, really, to play the Guardian games, if you ask me. Unless, of course, you're really competitive and you want to see a class win. But this is the best thing about Guardian games. The air apparent exotic machine gun allows you to walk around like an arc fueled lunatic, killing everything in sight. Oh yes, and Titans! This is good. If you use your Path of Burning Steps exotic, uh, you'll increase the damage output of it because it's a solar machine gun. And the more solar kills you get, you get the Path of Burning Steps buff on that up to five times, I think. But the other cool thing is the Actium War Rig. And what this basically does is constantly reloads your machine gun with the ammo from reserves. So you're basically shooting this thing out constantly. And using this on the second phase of Dares of Eternity, where you've got infinite... Um, heavy ammo is a great laugh so this does really lend itself a little bit more to titans to be perfectly honest so only got two weeks left to grab this baby make sure you get in there and get this done as soon as you can it really is worth it let me know in the comments how long it took you and if you've got any questions please pop them in and i shall endeavor to answer them thank you so much for watching and i shall speak to you all again very soon sausage out